Good morning, sir. Good morning, Sravya. Sir, what are we going to learn today? Today, we are going to learn a new lesson. Every success story is also a story of great failures. Now, open your textbook at page number 14. Okay, sir. Sir, what is the meaning of the title? Every success story is also a story of great failures. My dear students, we daily see or meet so many persons in the society. If we inquiry into their track record, once they definitely were failures. Really, sir? Undoubtedly. Would you mind saying about some such personalities, sir? Why not? Let us go through the lesson. It gives you such information about the persons who had failed so many times in their lives. I'll read out the lesson. You look at it. Okay, sir. Failure is the highway to success. Thomas Watson, sir, said, if you want to succeed, double your failure rate. If you study history, you will find that all stories of are also stories of great failures. But people don't see the failures. They only see one side of the picture and they say that people got lucky. He must have been at the right place at the right time. Sir, will you please explain it? Definitely. My dear student, Failure is the highway to success. That means failure teaches us a lesson and shows us a way to reach our goals. According to Thomas Watson, sir, the chairman and CEO of International Business Machine, the higher you fail, the more you learn from it and finally you get success. If you look into the history of any successful person, you can definitely find an odd times and difficulties in his life. But we uh, simply say they got lucky. Sir, will you please explain it in Telugu? Sure. Failure is the highway to success. Tom Watson sir said, if you want to succeed, double your failure rate. That means failure ane the manki, apaje mane the vijayaniki rajamargam lantidi. If you study history, you will find that all stories are also stories of great failures. No, a cherita, Vijimantha Manu twenty victory, a cherita tis kuna, Kachatanga valu, Antakamundu, Apajalni, Edurkune untaru. But people don't see the failures, they only see one side of the picture and they say that person got lucky. Kani Manu, Evan Chusna, what Adristuanta Ravijan Sadin Chadanta. But Wakaside Chostam, Renda Vaipu, Athadu, Edurkuna twenty, Apajal Matram, Manam Chodam. So he must have been at the right place at the right time. So they only see one side of the picture and they say that the person got lucky. He must have been at the right place at the right time. Sarayan place, time ki sarayan place lo naar adhrishtu vandhidu Yes, exactly. Some successful people like P.V. Sindhu, Mary Kaur, Indira Gandhi and our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi seem to be lucky. Yes, they seem to be lucky fellows. It is one side of the picture. They definitely and they might have faced many sleepless nights in their lives. Do you know who this person is? He is Abraham Lincoln, the former president of America. Yes, he is the former president of America. But you know only one side of his life. I will show you the other side. Please look at your textbook. Okay, sir. Let me share someone's life history with you. This was a man who was failed in business at the age 21. He was defeated in a legislative race at age 22, failed again in business at age 24, overcame the death of his sweetheart at age 26, had a nervous breakdown age at 27, lost a congressional race at age 34, lost a senatorial race at age 45, failed in an effort to become vice president at age 47, lost a senatorial race at age 49 and was elected president of the United States at age 52. This man was Abraham Lincoln. Would you call him a failure? He would have quit. I know Lincoln as the president of America. Had he failed in that way in his life? Yes, not once, twice or thrice. He failed many times. He failed in business. He failed in senatorial race. He failed in congressional race. 
he failed in the race of vice president in this process he lost his wife he lost his health and finally became the president of america oh what a comeback can you say who the person is he is uh, he is i can't say sir he is lady forest the inventor of trait tube yes lady forest the inventor of trait tube do you know he was put in jail in jail why for what yes look at your textbook i will read out the lesson okay sir in 1913 lady forest the inventor of the trait tube was charged by the district attorney for using fraudulent means to mislead the public into buying stocks of his company by claiming that he could transmit the human voice across the atlantic he was publicly humiliated can you imagine where we would be without his invention will you please explain it sure lady forest was an american inventor he invented an electronic amplifying tube for radio and audio signals he said that he would transmit human voice by using this tube but nobody could believe him in addition to that he was publicly humiliated and was put in jail sir please explain it in telugu sure he lady forest an american inventor tried tube and it went to parikaran ki anipettadu so what is the use of it దాని ఉపయోగం ఏంటంటే టు ట్రాన్స్మిట్ హ్యూమన్ వాయిస్ హ్యూమన్ వాయిస్ని ఒక దగ్గర నుంచి ఒక దగ్గరికి ట్రాన్స్మిట్ చేయడానికి ఉపయోగపడేది అనమాట అయితే అతన్ని ఇతను పబ్లిక్ని అంతా కూడా మిస్లీడ్ ఫ్రాజ్లెంట్ మీన్స్ వాడి సో మిస్లీడ్ చేస్తున్నాడు అనేటటువంటి అభియోగంతో అతన్ని కూడా జైల్లో పెట్టడం జరిగింది అనమాట ఓ బ్యాడ్ లెట్ కెన్ వి ఇమేజన్ వేర్ వుడ్ వీ బీ వితౌట్ హీజ్ ఇన్వెన్షన్ వీ వుడ్ హ్యావ్ నో రేడియోస్ నో కంప్యూటర్స్ నో టీవీస్ నో ఇంటర్నెట్ without his inventions so oh, he was also failed in making his people trust his invention so he was put in jail it was unfortunate do you know who these two persons are i know they are right brothers yes you are correct they are right brothers do you know about them yes i know they invented aeroplane yes they invented aeroplane but at the beginning they were also failed look at your textbook I will read out about okay, them. Sir. A New York Times editorial on December 10, 1903 questioned the wisdom of the Wright brothers who were trying to invent a machine heavier than air that would fly. One week later at Kitty Hawk the Wright brothers took their famous flight. Please explain it. At the beginning the media and the public did not believe their ideas. and would not imagine an object with more weight could fly in the air but finally the brothers proved it sir can you please explain it in telugu new york new york times anate atuvanti famous paper lo so ee right brothers chesina atuvanti invention ni gali kante baruvaina atuvanti vastuvu gali lo egaradam ela sadhyam pilla murkulu వీళ్ళు మూర్ఖత్వ ఆలోచనతో ఇలా ప్రజల్ని తప్పుతో పట్టిస్తున్నారని వాళ్ళని కూడా చిన్న చూపు చూడడం జరిగింది బట్ అట్ ది అట్ ది ఎండ్ దే హ్యాడ్ షోడ్ ఇట్ అండ్ ప్రూవ్డ్ ఇట్ హీ ఈస్ కొలనల్ శాండర్స్ కొలనల్ శాండర్స్ హూ ఈజ్ హీ కొలనల్ శాండర్స్ ఈజ్ అన్ అమెరికన్ బిజినెస్ మ్యాన్ వెల్ నోన్ ఫర్ ఫైండింగ్ ఫాస్ట్ ఫుడ్ చికెన్ రెస్టారెంట్ చైన్ కెంటికి ఫ్రైడ్ చికెన్ KFC Oh he was the founder of KFC Yes he was the founder of KFC Do you know how many times had he failed to come into limelight Did he do Yes he did it too Look at your textbook Okay sir Colonel Sanders at age 65 with a beat up car and a 100 dollars check from social check his security he remembered his mother's receipt and went out selling how many doors did he have to knock on before he got his first order it is estimated that he had knocked on more than a thousand doors before he got his first order how many of us quit after three tries 10 tries a hundred tries and then we say we tried as hard as we would did he knock thousand doors to get his first order yes we actually try three times 
four times or ten times then we simply say we tried as hard as we could but he touched thousand doors to get his first order now i can understand from all these people that every success story is also a story of great failures absolutely correct every success story is also a story of great failures